What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to kind of round off on the last time, um, I'm actually going to shut my window a second. Very unprofessional, I know. Um, yeah, it's kind of round off on the last time. Um, uh, Great Britain declared war on me. And I captured this small territory in uh, South America. Then I also captured Trinidad and Tobago. And this army is going to be gradually working its way through the Caribbean. Also now stopping off at Jamaica and Nassau. Because I want to take British possessions in the Bahamas. How much money am I getting a turn? 10,000. Trade. I'm almost spilling my coffee everywhere because I'm not paying attention to where I'm putting my elbow. Uh, diplomacy. See if I can make any more trade. Nope. Let's do that. Let's keep you for now because I've already got you. But yeah, from now on I'm going to start filling out my ports with the cheapest troops. For the longest time I've been doing them as... Um, just militia because it seems more fluffy but at the same time in this instance it actually works with just using the cheapest troops available and yeah so this army in the Netherlands is going to hold position here for the uh, wait to the resistance occupation to go down and then they will ferry over to fight Britain I would like to have more military doctrine um, ready but that's not the case and also would like to Mm, see, I'd like one more school. One more school would be perfect. I'd like to go hard down the military doctrine here, hard down the naval doctrine, have one bouncing on the political doctrines, and then one down the bouncing on the industrial technologies, as and when. Um, so if I'm fighting Britain, um, I need to have that... Oh, let's speed you up. If I'm fighting Britain, I want to have that naval supremacy or no even to be honest even at this point parity as you saw from the first part i'm not very good at naval battles um when the oh god like that so lots of war galleons withdraw they're probably gonna be chased down but it's worth the gamble i'm being attacked by oh, windward islands fair enough i will come back to you wasn't as, much, wasn't as much of a problem because uh, the, the Windward Islands weren't making me any money anyway. Um, they're probably, there wasn't much tax and I kept getting raided by pirates, so it just made more sense to leave them to it. Um, it's got Austria. Cool. Yeah, if I can get the army over to London, fight some pitched battles, I think I could be able to take London. Well, I should be able to take London. It's a good, strong army I've got. Um, and I'm allied with Spain, so... Like, I'd like to think that, in the long term, Spain is, you know, doing some damage on Britain. If they're even at war, if they've even joined me, that is, they might have said no. I can't remember off the top of my head. But yes, I need to not want to knock Britain out. Once I've knocked Britain out, I'm going to go and smash straight into the Ottoman Empire and start opening up some... Um, territories along the North African coast. And then if I can do this, I'll push eastwards down and attack India from the northeast um so yeah right now the marathas i'm at war with the marathas <laughs> if you <laughs> i realize i am pretty much just bouncing along with whoever's flag comes up um but yeah i am at war with the marathas but that's okay um ultimately i'm more interested in this middle eastern via the northeast and it will mean attacking persia who are generally quite good ha savoy has declared on me Everyone's joined me, including their allies to the north. It does mean, well, maybe the army in the Netherlands has to come down south to threaten Genoa and Savoy. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that. That army comes south, build garrison in the Netherlands to maintain, um, to help squash any rebellions or to, you know, add pressure in that dimension. Um, I think that's a workable plan. Then the army that's up in towards Montreal, they can swing down south and start attacking um, Iroquois provinces. Ally attack. Aggressor Hanover, defender Westphalia. Hmm. I'm already at war with Britain. I'll become at war with Prussia, but it's not as much of a problem. And Denmark could just... Yeah, I'm going to enter it. 
stand on the side of my ally. Maybe Prussia doesn't get involved. Maybe. It would be interesting to take Denmark. Use Denmark as a springboard to then move into attack Prussia from the northern coast. That could be quite interesting. But yeah, that army, the Netherlands needs to move south rapido. I'm fairly sure I still don't have a border with Hanover. Yeah. yeah, now I can invest in you. Because you are going to chase down this unit of bowmen. And this army can move down and actually what's here? Our native auxiliary. Do I have any cavalry in this army? I have one, two, actually let's bounce you to here. You cross the border, see if you can provoke a response, wait for the native auxiliary to catch up. 7,000. Um, is on my side. I do have a border with Hanover. Interesting. Mm, I think right now I want to hold... I want to build a garrison for... Yeah, a garrison for the Netherlands. Pull these guys out. See what happens to public order. They do not like it. Okay, so let's leave... Where's my militia? How does that impact things? Not much. But let's sit down and recruit some wine. Some great theatre. Maybe let's leave my most broken unit. Oh, let's do that and that in one unit of cavalry. Down to five. They shrink with time. Let's get them down. Ooh, I have weakened my army, though, somewhat. Although this is an army of militia. Lots of farms built, that's good. Yeah, Windward Islands are lost, but that's okay. Oh, I didn't manage to get any infrastructure built there. Could lay siege, but I want to get this piece of cavalry in, because the thing is with the Native Americans is that they can be quite devastating when they get close to you. Um, oh yeah, building up some sepoys here. Trade agreement with Savoy is cancelled. That's probably where a lot of my money's gone. The Mughals don't like me, but let's request a trade deal. Because I'm fairly sure that will help get my money up quite a lot. 1,500. Good. But yeah, we need to be careful. Hopefully, Westphalia manages to deal with Hanover. I'm fairly sure Württemberg is at war with them as well. Yeah, Württemberg's at war with Hanover as well, so both of these quite rich provinces are at war at the same time. Um, need to bring this army down because I want to try and knock out Savoy and Genoa. Actually, let's see if Genoa... I'm not at war with Genoa, it's just Savoy. If I do that, no, they don't take it. I have to defeat their army in the field. So this army of irregulars, you're going to head north, get ready to meet up with this army coming south. It makes no sense to lose the unit, because they'll just raid the port anyway. May as well let them have it. The master prisoner dies. The Americas are cracking on and providing money. Next turn, I'll upgrade this to get some more sugar. Cool. Tech is going along okay. The schools are... You're not being upgraded, but I'm not going to upgrade you yet at all. Next turn, college. Next turn, they'll become colleges. Excellent. So let's do that. And then let's see how this develops. End turn. I get my rake in addition to infiltrate London. Oh dear. I forgot all about them. Here I resolve. Oh, I win. Whew. Forgot all about them. They're probably going to be absolutely smacked by another fleet. Ah, poor Louisiana. <clears throat> this 
Ooh, big, big British fleet. So yeah, India was about abandoning the Americas is a bad idea because you get the same amount of yeah, go on, give you a thousand, take you some money. Um you still fight the same amount of wars, but you just don't have the trade or the, the value coming from America to help fund it, which right now is pretty critical to what I'm doing. It's got Poland, Lithuania, the Ottomans. Yeah, if I can go down and knock out Savoy. Fairly sure Savoy doesn't own the island above Corsica. No, they're, they're, I'm pretty sure they don't own Corsica. Fairly sure that's Genoa. Yeah. Let's make our alliance again. I'm giving yeah, I'm giving them tech, but I want I want money money to raise troops. Which right now I should be on about ten, eleven grand at the end of this turn. I get about eight and a half. Eight and a half from income, last I saw. Um so Oh yes, push the Marathas back. I'm not at war with the Mughals, so I want the Marathas to be Oh no, Louisiana. I know you want to kill pirates, but you just freed up a British port. What are you doing? It's supposed to be on my side, damn it. Good, spreading Catholicism to the you know, provinces. There come. Oh, I'm, I, was, I was sure they would raid my port, but either way, it means I've got more troops. Oof. Retreat. First order of business, try get them back to a friendly French port, or or failing that, um, get them to disappear to a trade region. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm fairly sure it will be it's quite a simple job to knock out the Iroquois, but then again, I will have an open border. Actually, am I at war with the 13 colonies? That'd be interesting to know. Mughals have declared on me, fine. Not calling my allies, because I don't want to waste their time. So in which case I may as well... So if I'm going to go for this Middle East plan, I may as well trade away Corsica for... Um... Oh god, I'm getting pushed... Oh god! <laughs> right. Okay. Um... <laughs> so, trade away that region. Ooh, see, how do I do this? Uh, right. So what I'm going to try and do is I need to buy a piece. So I think I'm going to trade away my Indian province to Great Britain for a peace deal and a trade deal to eliminate that threat. The army that's by the Netherlands, they need to head east straight away to attack the German fort. They need to raise another army quickly in Paris. Netherlands still don't like me. I have to abandon this port garrison just to knock it down a bit. Oh god, so little money. Two. America, Syria is being blockaded. Who's blockading me? I'm fairly, I thought all my money came from into here. I didn't realise it all came into there. Well. This is going to get a bit dicey, I think. Army, some troops and some cannons. What have they got? Militia and Cav. Don't have Square, which would have been very handy. Right, you go there. Do I have Pikes in here? Nope, just Militia. Okay, so Paris. At this point it's just a garrison to not lose Paris. I don't have walls, which is fairly devastating. Hmm. I think all in, I need to rebalance to scare away these guys to defeat Savoy. Because I'm not going to have the capacity. So right now, that province is okay. Ish. Let's get my cav out to here. So, with these seven... With all this infantry, I'm fairly sure if if uh, the if the um, Hanoverians attack the Netherlands, I'll be able to defend them. <clears throat> I'll be able to defend it because I have level one forts. So this army, you need to head to Paris. Rake. Let's see if I can get you in to assassinate their general. 
diplomacy. Okay, hold on. Before I do diplomacy. Can I get you back to a friendly port? Eh, I can get you back up to here. So scoot around this fleet by Radcliffe Nello. Trade agreement cancelled with the Mughals. Workers on strike. I mean, every day that goes down by one, and then I'm about to get another bunch of troops to help suppress. Okay, so now diplomacy. Major Great Britain, open. Request peace. Request uh, offer region Urissa. Let's try to get grenades. Good. Tactical retreat. And what the tactical retreat does is it means I now have forces in the front in the Savoy rear. To do this. Out you go. Let's get my trade back. So if they go for Strasbourg, that's okay. That's not as good, but it's not as it's still scary. How's Paris doing? Paris still likes me. Do they need cannons? They don't need cannons. Let's go over to here. Build a trade port. Don't need, don't need new roads. Get them there. Get them to mash it. Destroy the bow. The um, bowmen. Then start to head this way. New. Maintain for now, because what I want to do is... Hmm. See, if I can knock them out and knock them out, that would be quite a nice little French empire. But I'd like to build... Get research to the bus, get the drill school, while the drill school's building research square formation. Unless I get... Let's get Utrecht to abandon that now and start doing square. Yeah, I think I do. Westphalia is destroyed. The Marathas are destroyed. I don't have any, do I have a navy down here? No, I don't have a navy down here. Can't trade with Britain. How's my trade doing? 1600 because I've recorded, recruited all those troops. Okay. So this will be the important bit. End turn. Let's hope. Because they're not on a road. Um... Because they're not on a road that the um, Savoy army can't go straight to Paris in one turn. That's my hope. But yeah, if I could try to smash them, they've got no, they've got no artillery. They've just got militia. So if I blow them apart with some caster shot, that should be enough. Um, at least that's the plan, anyway. Oh, so Great Britain has the 13 colonies, so if I do, if war does happen in the Americas, it will go off in a big way. Need to secure my borders. Don't get to Paris, don't get to Paris. Oh, oh God. Oh, but there is a massive army defending it. Okay, let's fight this battle. They sallied out to meet me. I completely... If it's a good quality army, because I have no walls, so it will be a pitched battle. But even if they do defeat me and stomp whatever's left because I'd like to think I'd make them suffer quite badly to take it Ooh, nice big hill to get in the way of my artillery lovely so who's so my line is better than my my line is wait in terms of melee. The more defense, less more defense, less attack. All right, so I think I want to have and a better charge. I think I want to have a regular line center, probably about here on the crest of the crest of this hill. 
Again, spread them out to maximise firepower. Or do I want them over here? I think I want it at an angle, ultimately. Let's get my artillery in sort of position. It's not quite where I want them. Three units ready to run out to deploy on that flank. Yeah. God, that is a terrible spot. So these artillery might go over here as well. Okay, let's do this. So instead, this centre group needs to be probably more about four like that. Three, four. Let's get on that flank. Then pikes need to sit behind the cannons, as does. Well, then I'll just start to have sporadic backup units. And then these guys will do something on this far flank. And I've got this unit of line left, which will also go over to this flank. I've not done anything on my cavalry. It's the edge of the map. I know that this kind of style is really lame, but <laughs> like that. Which in which case I want to move. These guys up, Hessian line, run back here, fire at will off. Your fire at will is off, your fire at will is off. Pikes need to be ready to move forward. General get into position. Those are tribesmen. Chief's bodyguard. Ooh, let's see where these shots go. Some okay hits. Okay, so I want to get one. No, I withdraw. Wrong button completely. So if I want you to do that, good. You will actually follow them in order. Good. Then set these guys probably back here. Do some shooting. These guys here ready to charge. Don't normally like having such a massive battery, but as we'll fire at the no, don't fire at the Nazis, fire at this unit of tribesmen. Because I'll have bowmen moving up at the same time. Speeds up a little bit. Need to get ready to fire a canister. Wait until this volley's gone. And do that. Check canister range. They're just out. So you're already you're all ready to fire it well. Aha! Canister at the medicine men, please. With my grand battery. I want to destroy this unit of medicine men. I do oh they're really, they're really good. But they're walking into a front line of cannons. So 188. Only eight kills with a whole volley of canister. There must be something in the way. 
If I could make them route, that would be perfect. Come on, if I can get one volley off before they get in close. There you go, cannons off. Whoa, halt. Fire at range, you plink at the bodyguard, you, I don't know, do you shoot there? Get my cavalry in, get them in to start rolling up. The flanks. Elsewhere, the line seems to be doing rather well. These are lancers, so their strength is in the charge, and they have charged, so. Fire at will. Get my go bows in. You crack on. Let's run them back. Oh, I didn't realise they were lancers. Otherwise, I would have deployed my cavalry much sooner. F facing the wrong way entirely. Turn on fire at will, turn on fire at will. Charge my pikes on! Medicine men are in. So let's commit my cav. What's going on this flank? So bows are just utterly devastating. Just run past their lances. Run into the back of those bows. That's what I want to hit more than anything. Colonial light cav. Keep charging on. Round shot, plink of that unit of bowmen to the rear. Straight on into those bows. That bowman unit's going to go down. Oh, that bow's charging with my pikes. Mounted tribal auxiliary starting to waver, so let's try to bring them back. Run this unit of guys into the line, get my light cav back, smash into those bows. Yeah, let my light cav just, this light cav just keep on going, I suppose. Let's reform a line. Yeah, bows, these bows against regular troops without fire by rank are just devastating. The lancers, chief's bodyguard, don't want to worry about them yet.
Run them around, turn on fire by rank. Charge them in. It's not a general break though, so I need to bear that in mind. Charge into those musket men. Get my tribal auxiliary in on them as well. Let's maximise the killing power of my. Maximise the killing power of my mounted units. So, General, you get in as well. So, where's their General? General's routing, I presume. Halt fire my artillery. There we go. Now it just comes down to maximising my mounted army usefulness. Yeah, so that should be everyone routing, but I want to continue and get as many of them as possible. So my general, the tribal auxiliary, still chasing down Edo musket men. Sometimes you need to play with it a bit. <laughs> there you go. If I can make... I don't necessarily have to kill units. Um, it's nice, but... If, at the very least, I can just shrink them down... Enough so that after a few volleys they'll retreat the next battle. I'd count that as a win. But I think that's going to be the lot. Excellent. Didn't even have fire by rank. That's them, and them should be cool, decisive victory. Good. Well, we were, the, uh, we, as in the French, were allied with the Cherokee, but where are the Cherokee now? Excellent, look at that. <laughs> pass a con away. Or well, someone's con a pass away. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Here comes their buddies. Oh, so Han yep, Hanover's got the... Oh. Yep, let them raid. Let them raid. Um, I need to deal with this Savoy. Well, I'll see what my garrison's like, actually, before I do that. Um, if it's a good garrison, then I don't know if... I might just let them... I might just let them do it. Or do I just run my army past them, attack Savoy, attack Turin, rather, and then... Oh, good. Please go north. Don't attack me, or else that's going to really kick my plans in the balls. No, my army's too close to Paris. Besides which, when, they, when we win the garrison... Sabotage. Building sabotage, that's okay. City besieged. Yeah, workers riot. God alive. How am I bankrupt? Enemy raid farmland, enemy raid farmland. Tech advances. Is it because I'm under siege? I 
good garrison, but I would like to run around here and fight them. So, something I never knew I could do until I learnt <laughs> I could do this. Played this game for years, literally years. Never worked it out. But yep, I'm doing this so that um, I get all my good troops in. So if I lost handily, I'll have all my good troops in ready to do the fight. But I don't think I should because I've got a solid amount of infantry, good amount of cavalry to counter their cavalry, and they've got rubbish, rubbish units. But looking at the time, that might be the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Let's see what happens next time.